Hey everybody, so here we have the ugly duckling. One summer afternoon, a mother duck sat quietly on her nest. In the nest were five beautiful eggs. She sat patiently waiting for the five eggs to hatch into little ducklings. The father duck was also waiting. He marched up and down beside the nest, wondering why it took so long for eggs to hatch. At last, the mother duck quacked for joy. The eggs were rocking back and forth. She sprang from the nest and stood there with the father duck. They watched anxiously as one by one the eggs cracked, open, and out tumbled four tiny yellow ducklings. They had bright little eyes and cute little bills and stood wobbly on their little legs. The mother and father kept watching the nest, for the fifth and largest egg had not yet hatched. Soon, two little feet broke through the shell, then a head popped out of the top. It was a big white fuzzy head instead of a small yellow downy one. He wiggled out of the shell and said, Honk, honk, honk. That certainly is a funny looking duckling, said the father duck. And why does he say honk, honk, honk when the others say quack, quack, quack? The four little yellow ducklings gathered around the big white one and quacked. He's not like us. He's ugly. Then they and their mother went down to the pond and left him all alone. The poor ugly duckling couldn't understand why nobody liked him. He went down to the pond and sat all alone. Tears filled his eyes, rolled down his bill, and splashed into the water. As he looked into the water, a strange and ugly face looked back at him. He didn't understand that his tears had caused ripples on the water. No wonder they don't like me, he thought sadly, if that's the way I look. He went deep into the woods to hide. Then through the gloom he heard cheerful chirping. He had found a nest of baby marsh birds. He hopped into the warm nest and tried to join in their singing. Honk, 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 you're way off key, said the birds. Your mother should give you singing lessons. My mother doesn't like me, said the ugly duckling. Then the mother marsh bird appeared at the nest with a large worm in her beak. Before she could give it to her babies, the ugly duckling reached up and ate it. The mother marsh bird was furious and chased the ugly duckling out of the nest. Go away and don't come back, you ugly thing, she said. He ran as fast as he could back to the pond and swam way out into the water. When he looked around, he saw a beautiful duck with a red head and blue wings. The duck didn't tell him to go away. In fact, it seemed to be smiling at him. The ugly duckling was so happy, he climbed on the duck's back and jumped into the water. What he didn't know was that this was a wooden duck used as a decoy by hunters to attract other real ducks. At last, he had found a friend. He climbed back on the duck and this time dove off its bill high into the air. Splash! He hit the water and went to the bottom of the pond. As he came to the surface, he hit his head on the wooden duck. He sank slowly to the murky bottom of the pond and fought weakly to pull himself to the water's edge. Everybody hates me, he thought, just because I'm ugly. He climbed on a floating log and drifted along in the sun. He was feeling very sorry for himself and began to cry. Honk, honk, honk. What's that? He wondered. Honk, honk, honk. He rubbed the tears away from his eyes. There in the water were four white, fuzzy creatures. They looked just like him. Come on in and play with us, they said. It's too nice a day to be crying. The ugly duckling dried his tears and dove off the log. They played all sorts of games. He was having a wonderful time. Then he looked up and saw the most beautiful white bird he had ever seen. She was the most beautiful bird in the world. Mother, mother, his new friends cried. We found a little brother. Can he stay with us forever? Of course he can, said the beautiful swan in a gentle voice. She folded her white wing around the ugly duckling and explained, You're not a duckling at all. You are a little swan, she said, and someday you will be the king of the pond. The End